Okay, so this is my trunk. Um, I can't really show you all the settings because my password's contained in clear text down there. Um, but if we go to inbound routes and we click on this route, you enter. I see what you have to do now. You you enter the after you put your trunk in, you enter your DID that it's going to be coming in as, which is your, your call centric default number. It's not exactly the phone number, but the f default number. If you called this number from a, a home telephone number, it would you just get a call centric message. But you enter that, um, and then you, you have to tell it where to go. I have it set up as a destination, um, which is my invoice recognition. So when you call it, it, uh, it, it, uh, it goes to my invoice recognition and some, you know, whoever's calling can select wherever they need to go and so on and so forth. So that's what you do to get the incoming routes set up and so that's about all I'm going to show you in this video. I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, unclear sometimes. It's been a while since I've played around in this interface. I've had it set up for about six months now and haven't really played with it but I thought it'd be good to show users how to get around in here. You can go around you can play around in all of these different things um, such as connectivity, and then, uh, let's see, endpoint device list. So these are the two phones that I have set up um, to be auto provision. And basically I just, in the phone, I set up for it to come off of a TFTP server that's located on the same machine, and the TFTP server um, detects what, what the MAC address of the device is and automatically configures it for the extension that you want. So that's line one, which is this ex extension right there. And this one's, uh, the first line is this extension right here. And then I have a couple of other extensions that I've set up manually. So you can play around in these in this type of thing. If you come into the um, reports and you come into the status, as I was talking about before, you can see three of, three of the six phones that I have set up are actually, or I actually have more than six, but three of the, the actual phones are online. I have one trunk online and one trunk registration that's good. Um, so you can see your load average, CPU, these types of things. I have no notifications, no calls going on right now. Um, you can see if I call on my soft phone, if I call the voicemail, star 97. Median mail, mailbox. Median mail. Password. You can see that it registers right there that there's a call active. And then if I call an outside number, there we go. Didn't press dial. Welcome to one eight hundred flowers dot com. If you can see that it registers an external call one. and total active to channels. Check the status of an existing order, press two. If you have questions about so the reason why there was two total active channels is because there's one on the internal leg and then there's one on the external leg. So as far as the PBX is, PBX is concerned, there's really three or two calls going on. Um, so I have a cordless handset that's it's connected via a uh, an IP translator. What's it called? Uh, uh, VOX. I'm not sure what it's called, but I, I can. I can call my one of my other lines, 102, and dial. He's here, it's ringing. And you can see that there's still two active um, calls, or two active channels, but only one active call. So, you can play around with this. If you have any questions, anything specific, um, invoice recognition is pretty simple. If add an IVR, you go through and fill in all the things that you wish. Um, you can set it up so if you press 1, you choose the destination, you could uh, select an extension, and you could select the extension that you want it to go to, um, and then you have to add in your, your actual audio, which you, you can record setting up, you can record, you can set it up, I'll show you how to record exten or sounds here in a second, but so your recordings, um, Let's see, announcement. So you, you set up your recordings and you come in here and select them. So you want to set up your recordings first. So you click on uh, app applications and then you select 
recordings. It's one of these. somewhere in here. <laughs> system recordings, there we go. You come down, click on system recordings, and you can set it up if you wish to make and verify a recording from your phone. So I can set up 1001. Okay, so I press go. And I dial, using your phone, dial star 77. So you click. Okay. We are in the wrong interface. Hold on. So we're just going to ignore that. Um, we're going to come in here and go to system recordings. Type in 101, press go, star 77. And then you just record your recording. So you record, 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 press pound. To listen to it, press 1. To re-record it. And then you just record your recording. So you record, record, record. To listen to it, press 1. To re-record it. Press star, followed by count. So if you like the recording, you press end. Come back to system recordings. Oh, okay. I messed up. Cousin 1. Go. Star 77. Seven. Seven. So you record, record, record. Press bound. You can listen to it. So you record, record, record. You listen to and you press pound. Press one. To re-record it, press star, followed by pound. You listen to it. Press one. To re-record it, press star, followed by pound. You listen to it. Press one. To re-record it, press star, followed by pound. You end the call. Name it, uh, Google, or Goog. Save. And it's there now. So you can listen to it. So you record, record, record. Okay. So you do that. You set that up. And you set up your recording. And then you go to IVR. Add new IVR. Um, we're going to name this one Default. IVR Description Announcement. Go direct dial extensions. Um, um, invalid retry recording. These are all just things that you can um, set up. So we're going to number one goes to voicemail. Voicemail of 1001. So we're going to submit. Okay, so we're going to send it to the voicemail of 1002. Okay, so submit it. Please select an item on the list. Invalid destination. We'll say extension. Second. Timeout destination. Extension. Second. Apply configuration, come back over here to connectivity, or applications, extensions, and we'll say whenever you dial if no answer, we're going to send it to an IVR, although you'd want to, by default, have a, an inbound trunk go to your IVR, but I'm just showing you. Apply configuration, 